Today I'm going to show you how you can use the blend tool and use the replace spine feature in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go up here to my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to hold down option and click and drag and then resize this. And now I'm going to select both of these circles and I'm going to hit command option B or alt option B on Windows. And now this is going to blend those two circles together. However, what if I wanted these circles to follow a path? Well, you can certainly do that, and for this example, I'm going to use the brush tool. So let's hit B on our keyboard, and now I'm going to swap the fill and the stroke. I'm going to come over here off of our artboard, and I'm just going to create something that's kind of abstract, nothing too particular here. And now we want these circles to follow this path. And I'm going to change the color of this to white so we can see it easier. All right, now I'm going to select both of these, and we're going to go up here to Object, Blend, and Replace Spine. So now, as you can see, all of those circles are following that path. And as you can imagine, the possibilities of what you can do with this are endless. Now, let's say you wanted to continue editing this artwork. All you'd have to do is go over to your blend tool, double click on it, and change the spacing from smooth color to specified steps. And if you want to make less of them, then you can just lower the number there. And if you want to add more, you can just increase the number. However, I want the spacing to be pretty good, but I do like kind of this abstract placement going on here. It is following a path, but it does look random. And you can also double click on the path and then double click again to select the first item and you can change the color and it will update all of those blended colors as it follows the path. You can also reverse the spine. So for this example, I'm going to double click on the blend tool, go back up and increase this to around 40 or so, hit OK. And I'm going to add a stroke to all of these to make it a little bit easier to see this layering. OK, now that we've got that applied, let's go up to object, blend and reverse spine. So as you can see, it took our two endpoints and swapped them with one another. And one last thing you can do with this is you can go up here to Object, Blend, and Reverse Front to Back. So that's going to take whatever was over before, and now it's going to place it under. You can make some really cool artwork with this technique, and if you've got one that you'd like to show me, feel free to share in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to support the channel, and thank you for watching.